Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how anyone can automate data entry into a web form without writing a single line of code. I'm Alex, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. First of all, I'm going to take a look at this web form. You can, of course, I've got on screen. You can, of course, use any web form. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I'm going to use this W3Schools example. It's got an input field for first name, last name, a select list for country, and then subject is another input field. And then it would have a click action on submit. So this is how I build a bot to automate data entry into a web form. First of all, I create my new automation, starting from blank. Then the go-to step here is the interact with the page interface. This has got the sub steps, all the good stuff, that allows you to automate a web form or any actions on a web browser. Steps like click element, enter text, select this, and even recording your key press actions or key presses. Now I'm just going to close that. The first thing I need to do once I've added that interact step is set the URL. The bot will open when it's run. So I'm just going to get the current URL. So now the bot knows to open the form. Next, I'm going to add my steps that interact with that form. So I'm going to add enter text. I'm going to add them all in one go because it's efficient. So that's one enter text for first name, last name, select list for the country, and one for subject, and one for clicking submit. Next, I need to, before I hook those up to the form, I'm going to want a data source. You can, of course, connect Axiom to any source of data using our webhooks or our Zapier integration. But the simplest way to pass data is out of the box is through a Google Sheet or a CSV, for example. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a read from Google Sheet step. And I've already set up a sheet called Test Form. You can see the preview being pulled in here. Now, I'm just going to click into that sheet. So for every row of data I want to add into, or form entry, I want to put automate into that form. I've split the data onto its own row by columns as our bot will loop through each row doing each entry. So now I need to connect that data and to Axiom and pass it through those steps and then connect the steps to the form. That's really simple and intuitive. First of all, you can select the field. So that will pass the data into the form. Now I'm just gonna click insert data here to grab the column A, the first name from Google Sheet. Now you'll see Axiom has changed at this point. It's got these looping arrows and this indication the loop is on. So Axiom will now loop through each row in that sheet, automating the data entry. Next up, I need to select the last name. Once again, I just click insert data to pass, but this time I select column B to pass the surname. Now I'm going to collapse that field. Next up, I want to do the select list. Now click onto and select the select list. This time I want to pass the country value. So insert data, column C. So that's the first three steps set up. I've got one more enter text where I'm going to select the final column. You can of course add as many different steps or different types of steps as you need to complete your form. There is no limit. And finally, I'm going to select the click, but I'm not going to actually allow the bot to do the click because I don't want to enter data in the, into the form at this point. I'd probably want to run a few test runs and make sure everything's working correctly before I did my final run. So I'm just going to use this handy feature and disable the step. Now that's my bot set up. I'm just going to click save. Let's run it and see what happens. I'm going to run it in the cloud clicking run. Axiom should open up the screen any second now and you'll see Alex 
Palo selects country and now it won't click submit because it's disabled but it will loop onto the next entry Steve War, one of my favourite cricketers and so that's how you can automate data entry into any web form without code using Axiom. Thank you.